and it's the next great mountain range for us near Las Vegas. And of course, that was close to Boulder City. Boulder City. Mm -hmm. I would have made my 300 kilometers by that time. But uh, I arrived at 23,000 feet over Boulder City. And what I called the Rhönegeist, yeah. the spirit of the Rhön, yeah. which is a classical birthday of Zorin, told me, are you crazy to land <laughs> if you are 23,000 feet high? No, we go on. So I went on to the next mountain range. And I did this several times. Each time I gave a radio message that I would land on the next airport. I never did, because I arrived always too high there. And some of them looked lousy. And so I kept going until I noticed that it was getting dark. I'd forgotten that the clock was one hour faster going east than it was over California. And I was sitting over the Colorado River, beautiful blue river, in the wave, the painted desert. Could you see all these wonderful sights? It was just like a complete uh, fairy story because I still was flying with my little finger. And from then on, I seemed to run out of map space. But I passed the 500 kilometer distance approximately, which was really 700 when you took the whole. Oh, yeah cross flight there and I found on my map the last airport guy I could see on this map when the map ended was Williams, Arizona that was near the Grand Canyon already and uh, I said I will land there it looks like a big airport and I saw far away, about 150 kilometers, I saw lights, and I thought, this must be Williams. So now I will start my glide. And with the best glide ratio I could get out of the ship, I flew in the direction of Williams. I think at that time I was maybe 25,000 feet high or so. After a while, I discovered that the ground went up and up, and that forests came there, and the rocks, and it didn't look at all good for landing. <laughs> and it was winter, and there was snow everywhere, and still no gust. And the city I had seen was not Williams. It was Ashford. Uh -huh. I thought it was Ashford and was actually on my map, and I could see it didn't have an airport. Now I've got a little critical, because I couldn't see the city I wanted to land, and it was getting so dark, because the sun had gone down, that I just have to, had to take a chance. And since there came lights, I was already down to something like 12,000 feet or so, or 10,000. And I thought it must be Williams. And it was Williams. But instead of the nice airport, it had high snow everywhere. Oh. High snow. I flew in only 200 feet over Williams. Just barely made it. And looked for the airport, which had disappeared under the snow, and nobody could see it. So I thought, after having flown low over Williams, I will turn around and land somewhere in the snow near the, the, the town, which I did. There came the first m mean gusts, and I suddenly had to work like that after this wonderful long flight. I could have continued 
if it were, wouldn't have started so late because on Mount Humphrey, Humphrey oh, yeah. San Francisco yeah. Peak, yeah. the influx started. There was this huge lenticular cloud that would have carried me to 35,000 feet at least. Yeah. Again. Too late. I couldn't do it. Yeah. I should have started early. Otherwise, I would have made a thousand kilometers on this flight. Probably landed near Santa Fe somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then there came the Indians. And they had seen me. There was also a preacher among them. And one of the Indians had a bottle of whiskey. And he wanted to take a drink. And then he looked at me and said, No, you drink first. And he did this again and again, and he always said, Another one? <laughs> and there were other people, but there was a real problem to get to a telephone, tell the people in Bishop where I was. Mm -hmm. Because as far as they were concerned, I disappeared. Sure. Yeah. I certainly was not in Boulder City when they called. <laughs> well, that's the story of this long flight. That's great. Well, thank you. It's probably too long. No, no, never. <laughs> too short, really. Well, maybe our half hour is over. Oh, I think it's more than a half hour, but it's always too short. But thank you. It was a pleasure. We'll take you home. Good. <laughs>